Hello fellow pilots and friends, my name is Erasmo Eri Malacara and I'm a certified flight instructor at the International Airport in Edinburgh, Texas. I'm so happy to announce the arrival of our new trainer, the Piper PA-38, better known as the Tomahawk. We have researched our options and believe this to be the wisest choice for us and for our students and also for the development of our Part 141 flight school right here in Edinburgh, Texas. Among many things, the Tomahawk has been said by many high-time flight instructors to be the best trainer ever built. Its many accomplishments in the design by Piper are a high visibility cockpit, a low by the low wing design and surrounding of windows, cockpit width, comparable to that of a Bonanza ample leg room, which allow the training to be more comfortable. A Lycoming 235 engine, which a lot of people said is bulletproof. Wide stand spring steel landing gear, which is very forgiving in hard and crosswind landings, typical South Texas. Control input and response feel comparable to a larger aircraft allowing for easier transition to bigger aircraft. Automotive type ventilation systems and double doors very beneficial on warm Texas days. For many of you that are unaware of the Tomahawk's background, it was designed in the 1970s by Piper to compete against the Cessna 150. Piper surveyed 10,000 flight instructors to ask what they want in a trainer. Many of the instructors ask for greater visibility, control feel comparable to a larger aircraft, more cabin width and legroom, and they ask for an aircraft that was more spin able than a Cessna 150. They got what they asked for. The wing was designed by NASA, the GAW-1 wing, which provide ample performance and flight characteristics suitable for training. Piper set out to design the aircraft that many thought would be the best trainer ever built. The Tomahawk was introduced in 1978 and remained in production till 1984 when a weak industry and economy would no longer support the number of production aircraft that were being produced. Although it was only produced for a short period of time, many aircraft still remain on the flight line today many of which have found homes with Part 141 flight schools and private owners alike. In our research, looking for the new trainer, we found a lot of information on the internet about the Tomahawk. The research done by AOPA showed that the Tomahawk has a lower accident rate per flight hour than that of its closest competitor, the Cessna 150. The Tomahawk boosts a much lower than average fuel starvation accident rate, which could be contributed to the Piper's design to put the fuel selector at the front and center of the panel, making it hard to ignore or forget. The Tomahawk does have a spin accident rate higher than the Cessna 150, but it is believed by many that this is due to lack of training and mishandling of the aircraft. And many feel that the bad publicity that the Tomahawk has received is undeserving. After all, the aircraft does exactly what it was designed for, which was to make a better spin trainer than the Cessna 150. It is critical to point out that most of the spin accidents were at low altitude and would have made recovery impossible in any aircraft. I have spun the Tomahawk and it spins very nicely but it does require proper control input, as do many transport category aircraft. Learning the proper techniques earlier in training will help you later on in your career as you advance to more complicated and sophisticated aircraft. The last thing I would like to add to the Tomahawk's accomplishments is the fact that it's a very low maintenance airplane. That coupled with a fuel burn rate of only 5.5 gallons per hour at 8,500 feet means that it's very cost effective as trainer. This means that we can pass the savings along to our customers. 
Area Aviation Services is very pleased to announce that we are offering the aircraft for rent at a rate of $95 per hour for primary and instrument training. This is a saving of 10% or more compared to the other local flight school. For more information, you can contact me at aeriaviation.aol.com or by visiting my webpage at aeriaviationservices.com. Meanwhile, please keep the sky safe and fun, and I will see you next time.